I, Dr. Rita Pratap, former head of the department, Drawing and Painting, University of Rajasthan, Jaipur, Module 2, Yayoi Culture and Coffin Period, 300 BC to 300 AD. During Yayoi culture, wheel thrown pottery was first discovered at Yayoi site near Tokyo. Besides this, they had highly civilized technology of bronze and iron. Wheel thrown ceramics and wet rice cultivation. In the Kofun period, pottery figures called Haniwa were found in Kofun tombs. Besides this, the dolmen type of tombs had stone lined inner chambers with decorative wall and bronze mirrors with chokomon designs were found associated with the burials. Yayoi culture and Kofun period 300 BC to 300 AD. Yayoi culture derives its name from the characteristic wheel thrown pottery first discovered at Yayoi site near Tokyo. This is entirely different from Jomon ware. Some scholars believe that Yayoi called the Wa or Wu people by the Chinese chronolizers. Were the first people to settle in Japan whom we might recognize as Japanese today. They arrived from the continent and settled on the southern tip of the Korean peninsula and in northern Kyushu. They had highly civilized technology of bronze and iron, wheel thrown ceramics and wet rice cultivation. Their seaborne trade flourished, reaching as far as Lolan and the Han commander in northern Korea. They drove the Jomon people north and south, though traces of Jomon styles of pot decorated remained in northern Japan throughout the Yayoi period. Elsewhere, beginning in northern Kyushu and spreading gradually through Honshu. Wheel thrown Yayoi pottery effectively replaced the earlier Jomon ware. Ceramics in Yayoi period included combed bow. Ceramics in Yayoi period included combed bowls, jars with wide bellies and flaring necks, lidded jars and tall urns. Towards the middle of Yayoi period, there began to appear goblets, narrow necked bottles, high footed wide dishes, evers and handle cups. All of these indicate a high level of skill with the potter's wheel. It is clear that tableware had now begun to replace purely functional ritual pots. The existence of vessels containing traces of grain confirms the agrarian nature of this age. An example is of a clay pitcher showing horizontal decoration and open work foot rim belong to mid Yayoi period. The new wheel thrown wares had smooth surfaces and the red or incised decoration tends to be horizontal, combed or zigzag bands across the vessel. This contrasts with the tactile surface and the predominantly vertical decoration of Jomon pottery. The pottery of Yayoi period is distinct from Jomon pottery in almost every respect. 
It was fired at a higher temperature, has a reddish color and was made in set shapes for cooking, rituals and storage. Around the 3rd century BC, bronze and iron appeared simultaneously since metrology was introduced. Due to needs of Yayoi men, the introduced forms were quickly adapted. Bronze war swords from the continent, for example, came in the hands of native craftsmen, broader and longer piece swords for use in burials. One of the most striking importations of all was the Dotaku ritual ball spell of late Yayoi period with its characteristic oval shape and protruding flanges. At first, these bells were small, but they were gradually made larger and larger and were often adorned in 12 sections to symbolize the 12 months of the year. The magical risui or flowering water designs, C or S spirals in bands of parallel raised lines, meander in zigzags. These patterns are also found on pottery and tombs. They became part of the later Japanese artistic vocabulary. Some of the later bells rise splendidly in majesty with double C spirals extending beyond the flanges which are now entirely ornamental. They may have been used in ritual, perhaps as symbols of state. Dotaku bells were found in isolated areas far from the settlements and carefully buried. They seen a purely Yayoi phenomenon. Certainly, they were never made again once the Kofun culture appeared. The bell with largest number of figured panels is reportedly from the northeastern Shikoku and was recovered early in the 19th century. About 10% of the bells bear small thread relief figures, including some simple pictures of activities. These available these available illustration of hunting scene, people pounding rice, storehouses and birds, animals and insects which had some meaning in the context of the earth's productivity. Yayoi contact with Korea and China is well documented. A great number of Chinese bronzes, especially Han mirrors have been found in Yayoi sites with Korean manufacture. Mirrors, dotaku, ceremonial swords and cashewnut shaped jades and agates, megatama or Korean fertility jewels are the principal ritual art objects of the Yayoi period. Compared to the previous Jomon or subsequent Kofun cultures, the Yayoi seems to have been particularly civilized, peaceful and refined, using advanced technology to bring about a rise in living standards and to contribute to a religious consciousness which seems more rational and serene than in other periods. It is in the time of Yayoi that a preference for artistic purity in both form and decoration first appears. This purity is the quintessential expression of Shinto, 
way of the gods, the spiritual belief and practice which is thought to have developed about this time. The Kami or super consciousness is thought to reside everywhere. In ancient trees, in, in, in ancient trees, in enormous boulders, in elevated wooden shrines, plainly made and without decoration. The love of unadorned materials and pristine freshness, those fundamental attributes of Japanese art first found expression in Yayoi period. The Kofun period it lasts from 380 to 680. Archaeologists have named the third and the last prehistoric period after its characteristics Tumuli or Kofun. Huge molded tomes at first round, then keyhole shaped found scattered around the country. The earlier tomes found in many areas from the southern Kyushu to northern Tohaku number in thousands. Mound buildings had begun in a modest way in the Yayoi period. The earliest of all are concentrated in the Yamato plains. The first monumental tumuli were constructed in the Kansai region, perhaps in the Nara Basin and spread from there to almost all parts of the country. The practice of burying the dead under the earthen mounds had a long history in North Asia, China and Korea. But the Japanese seem to have added a rather particular feature to the tradition. Along with countless found mounds, one type is composed of a square in front and round knoll behind. Zempo Koen Square front round back popularly spoken of in English as keyhole shaped. During Kofun period, one of the important craft was the casting of mirrors. Bronze mirror were adopted by Sun Lion as the major identifying symbol. A sign of the Sun Goddess, Ametara Suomi Kami literally the highest heavenly shining deity. Mirror signified her purity and protection of the spirit of the dead. Placed in the tombs frequently in remarkable number, they often surround the corpse or die alongside it. The reflecting sides turned up. It may even be argued that the early Kofun tombs are actually an extension of Yayoi burial practice. The use of cosmic mirrors, for example, is common to both. An example found is of a back of a bronze mirror decorated with dragons. It is of Kofun period and in the collection of Imperial Household Agency, Tokyo. The grandest tombs of all are close in time and are not found in land. But on the Kawachi plain in Osaka prefecture near the inland sea, they are imperial mausolai and the finest of them, such as those of emperors Ojin, who reigned from 346 to 395. 
and mean toku reigned from 395 to 427. are situated by the port suggesting that these early rulers had come into Japan from continent by northern Kyushu advancing along the inland sea to the Kinai region where they settled the largest mausoleums that of the emperor Nintoku It consists of a rounded keyhole shaped mound with trapezoidal elevations in front. This is thought to have been a ritual altar. The length of the tomb is 480 meters and height is 35 meters. The characteristic feature of Kofun tombs is pottery figures called haniwa. The haniwa was cylindrically shaped funerary effigies of clay these first appeared as jars with stands in the okayama region facing the inland sea later in the 4th century they became cylindrical and were placed on guard around the central area of each tomb later still they were placed in concentric circles and closing an earthen platform at whose center was the pottery house thought to be the abode of the dead person's soul and also surrounded by pottery shields and ceremonial sun shades at the end of the 4th century haniwa became anthropomorphic hollow figures dressed in minutely detailed costumes an example of haniwa figure farmer carrying plow blade excavated from the tomb late kofun haniwa in the form of a dancing figure museum of nagatoro and haniwa in the form of a smiling man in the collection of institute of anthropology Tokyo University During the 6th century animals that is chickens horses wild boar deer dogs cattle and fish were added These were placed in rows facing outward above ground the sacred central area was reserved for birds boats and houses presumably linked symbolically with the transport of the soul to its final resting place the human haniwa figures many with deep set eyes an abundant curly hair suggesting a race distinctly non-japanese give fascinating glimpses of the society which created them they included falcons grooms farmers soldiers in armor priestesses ladies of the court and musicians and dancers posed as if performing for the deceased An example is of a warrior haniwa which belongs to final phase Kofun period and at present in the archaeological museum Aikawa Guma prefecture It is in the most calculated style a warrior is dressed up with brimmed helmet braided hair on either side of the head circular earrings body armor arm and hand protectors riding trousers and sheathed sword tomo a wrist protector bow 
quiver and pouch. All the details are precisely documented, leaving a faithful record of a well and attired nobleman. In the archaeological museum, Aikawa, Guma Prefecture, Kofun period, priestesses, ladies of the court and musicians, dancers posed as if performing for the deceased. A striking late Kofun development in Kyushu was the dolmen type of dome whose stone inner lined chambers had decorated walls and sometimes contained stone sarophagi decorated with incised or painted designs. The colors are red, hermetite, black charcoal, yellow ochre, white china clay, and green chloride. The earliest of these tombs are decorated with red and black diamond patchwork. Later painted tombs appeared over a wider area. Those in the northern area of Fukuoka are decorated with the figures of horses, grooms, birds and goats as well as with the magic spirals and concentric circles found elsewhere. Large drawings of quivers and double C coils are prominent as are the horses, birds and boats associated with the soul's last journey. A wall painting in red and black of a man leading a horse is found in Tahakewara Dolomon Tome, Fukuoka, 5th 6th century. The most conceptually advanced of the painted tomes is one in Fukuoka known as Tahakewara, discovered in 1955. The chief painting on the granite block at the end is done exclusively in red and black. A large pair of standing fans frame a magical zone in which the universe is layered. Sky activities at top, earthly figures in the middle, flows, wavy pattern. Below this follows the Chinese principle of rising through the elements of water, earth and sky. At the top can be seen a small boat and feathered long tailed horse. In the middle a groom in horse riding costume, a long tailed horse and a vertical row of triangles and below a large boat over wave like patterns. The most striking image which can be associated with the Kofun period is the decorative motif known as Chokomon, straight lines and arcs. This consists of a series of broken arcs drawn over opposed diagonals or crosses and walls apparently made using compasses and a ruler. This pattern starts very early with the decorative tombs and lasts in minor variation throughout the period. The Chocomon design is found in places and on objects associated with beauty. Incised, for example, on the walls of tombs and sarophagi or part of the decoration of Haniba. Quivers and bronze mirrors. An example is of a bronze mirror showing chokomon designs belonging to 5th century Kofun period and in the collection of Imperial Household Agency.
it is one of the first of those striking conjunctions of straight and curved lines which became such a prominent feature of later Japanese art. 